Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to add Flare to your Discord server. This is part 6 of my Discord Academy 101 series, and as you can see down here we have a website called, called CoolSymbol.com which I'll have linked down below. This is a great website to get different uh, emojis and custom symbols for your Discord server, and I'll be showing you how to apply them to your server right now. So if we go to this website here, you can see I have it opened up, we can see there's a bunch of different custom emojis and symbols here. And as you can see, it's pretty long and there's a lot of different options here. So I definitely ask you uh, to, to look around and explore on your own time uh, and figure out what, what best uh, suits your server and, and how you could do it. Because there there's millions of different ways that you could uh, combine these symbols to make your server look very, very flourish. Uh, but in this video, I'll be showing you uh, one simple way you could do it that I, that I like uh, really well. Uh, so, so the first step here uh, is we're going to go... Um, to this first section here, the bracket symbols section, uh, and for this part of it, uh, we're going to be editing uh, the uh, category flare. Uh, so this is one way you could do it. There are, once again, thousands of different ways you could do it. Just I I ask you to play along, you know, or I ask you to play around and just try out uh, all these symbols uh, uh, for your for your categories or channels. Uh, but this is just one way you can do it. So I'm going to show you now. So we're going to copy uh, this symbol down here. It's the vertical right and vertical uh, left white corner bracket. Uh, so we're going to copy the right, or sorry, uh, which one is this? This is the, yes, the right one. We're going to copy the right one. Uh, we're going to go back to our server. We're going to right click on this category that we made earlier. And we'll get rid of uh, the dashes here. Uh, we'll just have one dash and then we'll do... Um, and then we'll do the symbol, and we'll save that, and then we'll go back to the website and we'll copy the left side, go back, and then do a dash, and then before that do the other symbol, save, and then we're going to go back to the website and we're going to do these double down arrows here. We're going to copy this double down arrow, or the double angled bracket, uh, and then we'll go here, and then we'll paste them on either side. And it looks a little busy, but if you, as you can see, when I save the changes and go out, it actually looks pretty clean. Uh, the arrows are supposed to represent like the category, uh, just like this little arrow on the side here. And I think it's pretty nice. And once again, you could try out all sorts of different combinations. There are many different combinations you could do. Uh, but we're going to quickly do this for all the categories here so they all match. Uh, so let's just uh, do this quickly here. Uh, let's get rid of this. Let's do this. Uh, and then left right here and then double arrow down boom boom save changes uh, last two categories here uh, let's do this boom uh, right side and then left side and then double arrow uh, okay and then last one here for the staff section right side left side down arrow save changes and there we go now it looks now even though we haven't edited any of the channels it already looks slightly better than it was before where it was just dull default channels and categories uh, so and now now the next step uh, that the next most, most important step is the channels and adding color. And the way we're going to add color to our channels is with emojis. Now, before we add emojis, uh, we're also going to be getting uh, a few symbols here. Uh, and this is one uh, way that I really like um, for, the, for the channel layout, and I'll show you it now. So we're going to go, we're going to scroll down here to the, um, to the, we're going to scroll down right here, to the corner symbols section. And basically how this is going to work is we're going to use this symbol, the box drawings down, double, and right single, uh, as well as this one over here, uh, this side one, the box drawings vertical, double, and right single. Uh, and lastly, uh, the last one we'll use is the box drawings up, double, and right single. Uh, so we'll start off by using this one here, uh, the box drawings down, double, and right single here. So we're going to copy this. And this will be for our top... Uh, so basically how this is going to work is we're going to start with this corner one. It's going to go down, 
and then we'll start using these ones for the middle channels that are in the middle, right? So this will go on the top channel in the category. This one, uh, this one here will go in all the middle ones, uh, and then this one will go on the very bottom channel in the category. Uh, so since we're starting at the top, the general channel, uh, we're going to copy the top left corner here, or yeah, the top left corner. Copy this one, and then we'll go into Edit Channel, and then we'll just paste it here. And then after we paste that, don't don't do anything yet. We're actually going to go uh, just stay stay on this page here. We're going to go down to the circle symbol section, and we're going to copy this little white bullet symbol. And then we're just going to put that uh, right beside it, and then add a space in between. And then uh, once once we do that, uh, now we're going to add a an emoji uh, for this channel. So every channel will have an emoji, and we're going to do the emoji. Uh, before this this uh, first bracket symbol here uh, so we're gonna do for, now since it's the general chat we're gonna do of course a speech bubble emoji but you might be asking well how do you get an emoji into here there's nothing when you right click right there's spell check there's paste but there's no emoji option like if you're on the browser website well actually uh, when you're clicked on here you could actually do a simple uh, command here we could actually do if you hold down the Windows key and then press the period key it actually opens up the emoji section or the emojis uh, tab for your uh, computer. Now, this does work on Windows. I'm not sure if it works uh, on Mac devices or any other device, uh, but majority of people are on Windows when using Discord, so I'll assume you're on Windows. Uh, and also, I'll have to figure out another way. Uh, but for now, right, uh, just uh, Windows key dot key. Uh, so we're gonna go to search here, and we're gonna search up, and we're gonna search up uh, the message. Not the message, the speech bubble here. And we'll just copy this one in. There we go. Looking good. And now we'll save changes. And there we go. We got the first one in. Um, and now we will go to the second one. So we're going to go and copy this one here. This is the uh, vertical double and right angle, or right, right single. Uh, we'll copy this. We'll go back to bot commands here. Paste that bad boy in, and then we'll get the white bullets. And then we'll go dash, bullet, dash. And then we'll get the emoji, Windows key, period. And then we'll get search, and then we'll look up the robots right there for bot commands, of course. And then we'll save changes. There we go, looking good. So as you can see, uh, the, the way we're uh, laying it out, it's like connecting, and it's almost like you're making like its own section so it, it it just looks more professional and it, and it's it pops out more you can really see uh, with the emoji especially uh, that this is the general that this is the uh, general chat and with this emoji you could clearly you know see right off the bat without even without even like reading it as 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 much uh, that it's the bot commands channel uh, so the next one here is memes uh, so we're gonna go back once again since this is a middle channel we're gonna be using uh, the middle uh, uh, bracket as well Again, so we're gonna go in here at a channel, and boom, uh, and then white bullet, white bullet, and then boom. Oh, sorry, dash, white bullet dash, and then quickly the emoji for memes, and this one uh, we're gonna do a laughing emoji, uh, just a simple laughing emoji. You could do uh, whatever you like, but this is what I'll do. Uh, there we go, and then lastly here, counting. Now since this is the bottom channel of this category. Uh, we will be using the uh, bottom bracket here. It's called the up, double, and right single box tracks. So we'll copy this, uh, and then we'll go back in, uh, paste this in. Once again, white bullet, and then dash, white bullet, dash. And then for counting channel, we'll just keep period. And we're going to do the counting one. It's pretty sure it's, uh, I think it's called like one, two, three, four. There we go. Yeah, just one, two, three, four. There we go. And then save changes. And there we go. We have our first section created. As you can see, it looks very good. I'm gonna quickly cut. Uh, um, I'm gonna quickly cut in the video uh, to finishing information. So I'll be right back. And there we go. So now you can see we set up the uh, information section here, looking very, very clean. And already, just by looking at this one section here, ignoring the other channels uh, above and below it, uh, it just looks. It looks like it looks beautiful. Like it looks amazing. And, and remember, like there's thousands of different ways that you can customize your channels with Flare, just by using emojis and symbols in the name in the titles uh, of both the channels and the uh, and the categories. And and when you connect them like this, it makes it stand out even more. 
and it just looks it just looks amazing and it'll, it'll make your server uh, have more traction uh, and, and possibly even more usage just by having flare in it uh, opposed to just a basic default uh, channels list uh, so the next part here is these two channels up here uh, which are separate uh, they're not in a category uh, so the first one is the welcome channel this is be safe basic because since there's no middle channels it'll just be the top and bottom uh, box here uh, so let's go back at a channel uh, let's go here uh, top right corner boom and then white bullets here dash boom dash and then welcome channel just key period and we'll do the wave so just get the wave in here the wave there we go okay, good and the next one here, the level up channel, we will get the bottom uh, right corner. And then we'll go back. Boom. And white bullet. There we go. And then we'll do level up. So just do up. And there we go. Up. Level up. Save changes. And there we go. We got the top section done. And now we'll quickly do the logs channel. Now since there's nothing, uh, we're just going to use... Um, we're just going to use the uh, just the the middle bracket because there is nothing, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so we'll just do this one here, and we'll go logs. Plus, Pete, remember members won't even see this channel, so it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, so we'll just do it like this. Uh, but just for the staff's sake, might as well have something here. And then for logs channel, I usually do uh, the book stack. So we go book, and then we do the book stack here. That's for the logs channel. It's like a it's basically a, com a compiling of logs. So. Um, that's how I use that emoji. And there we go. Looking looking amazing. Looking fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And now lastly, uh, we are now here on the voice channels uh, flare section. So let's do this now. So for the voice channels section, uh, since they're all voice channels, we'll be using a pretty similar or pretty much all the same uh, emojis for it. Uh, but let's just go in here. So we're going to go. So general channel. Uh, we're going to go in here. Same, same step as last time. Uh, right top left here. Uh, boom, and then uh, white bullet, uh, and then general channel. Now for the voice channels, we're going to be using a simple uh, speaker emoji, full mic, full volume, and this will be the same for pretty much all of them. So we're just going to quickly uh, go through all these. There we go. As you can see, looking very good. Uh, and now we'll just do the last one, which is AFK. Uh, but for since this is AFK, we will be doing a muted. Um, a muted uh, emoji instead. So let's just get uh, oops, let's get this one here, uh, and then let's go here, and then white bullet. There we go. And then we'll do the speaker with no sound. So the no sound emoji. And there we go. And there we go. So now we have all the emojis and symbols set up. Once again, with the coolsymbol.com website, I will have this in the description below. Um, and it looks great. I uh, can see all the changes here. Our logs channel is working fine. And um, that's about it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, and once again, you can uh, try out all the different combinations on your own time on this website because there's many different other ways to lay out this. Uh, if you want to use my uh, my layout here, you could, you know, my, you know, be my guest. You can. It looks amazing. It looks great. Uh, I, you know, I won't blame you for using it. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's so much cleaner. Like, this looks amazing. I can't get over uh, how great this looks. Um, but yeah, so that's um, that's my uh, tutorial on Flare and how to add Flare to your Discord server. Uh, th the other ways you can add Flare, of course, is by creating a logo um, uh, and adding emojis to your server. But those will be in separate videos. So I will have a video uh, coming up on creating your own server uh, logo uh, for free and how to also add a, uh, add a bunch of custom emojis to your server. Uh, so stay tuned for those, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. Once again, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.